What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Before we get into today's video, I want to thank Top Fishing Deals for sponsoring this video. If you guys haven't heard of Top Fishing Deals, they're a brand new website which just started about a month ago and it helps us find all of the best possible fishing deals online. So they compile a bunch of different websites, sales and clearances and give us the best daily deals. It's updated every single day and you can find rods, reels, line, tackle, literally anything that you could imagine is over at Top Fishing Deals right now. So click that link down in the description below, go check them out. And again, thank you for sponsoring this video. Let's go catch some fish. So the peacocks were stocked here in 1984 to offset all of the invasive species in the waterways, those being tilapia, mitis cichlid, placos, you name it. And all of those fish were put in the canals by the homeowners that live right here. And nothing in here was eating them. So with that initial stocking in 1984, the peacocks were put in here to help offset all those species. They were stocked just a single time as far as I know. They've been in here now for close to 40 years. So with the lifespan of only five or six years, peacocks are doing pretty well for themselves. They managed to spread all over from Miami up to Palm Beach and out west into the Everglades as well. But because of their role here, they're treated practically as if they're a native species. They have a strict slot size. You can only keep two a day. Most people don't keep any at all. And the that's really all I got. I like it. Pretty good. It's perfect. What's going on, everybody? So, last night, Billy and I, after we got off the water in Orlando, made a four hour drive and came down here to Miami to fish with Mr. Scott Rose. So, he's taking us out on some peacock adventures today, and both of us are trying to catch our first peacock bass. They're spawning right now, which is really cool. So, Scott was saying we'll be able to sight fish or sight cast for a lot of them. And if you guys want to ever come out and do something like this, I'm going to leave a link for Scott down in the description below. He runs a guide service down here in Miami to come catch peacocks, and it's going to be an awesome experience, so I'm excited. There. Keep it right there. You ready? Little twitch? Now. Oh, he had it. Split second eat. Good. Leave it right there. Split. Hit. Boom. Nice and slow. Yay! <laughs> oh, baby. Sick. Wow, that thing is unbelievable. Pretty fast, too. Super. Give you the rods that I had made for this. Do you make these? This one is one of my uh, a Peacock Adventures custom rod. Hell yeah. Also, not very good with a spinning rod. Let it go. Keep the bail open, right? Yeah. Okay. When he eats, no rush to close it. Okay. If he eats. Just bumping. Close it. Oh, I saw him. He, yeah, oh, wait, he go. dropped it. He dropped it. Dude, Roll that up. was sick. Okay. New bait. Different bait. What should I do with this guy? Uh, Hang him off. Awesome. Okay. Oh, this is going to be awkward. Oh, hey. Want to switch that back? You're good. I'm going sure? to go I'm going to go lefty or righty. Let it fall. Watch the reaction. This is so awkward fighting this with, with my left hand. I can imagine. Oh, <laughs> so sick. What a fish, dude. All right, there we go. It's my first ever peacock, thanks to Scott. What do you think he is? Two, two pounds? Two and a quarter, maybe, yeah. Two and right a quarter. Right in that two range. Such a freaking beautiful fish. Definitely a bucket list fish for me. So stoked. This is a female. Yeah. No bone bump. head. Yeah. Sick. Four casts and three of them were terrible casts. Get out of here, bud. 
That one is definitely going on the clicker. Clicker, clicker. Trying to get to 60. Did I? He still got me. Where's he, where's he at, it's roughly? There to start. See where the snail legs are? Yes. Start there. Watch that line. Oh my god. Oh, he, he got it. it. He smacked it. Oh, okay. What? As much as you're gonna want to watch the bait. Yeah. Watch, Should I watch, watch the your, line? Watch your line. Okay. Yeah, right. Have fun watching the fish, but focus on the line. Catch right back in. Got him. Got him. Oh, he's wrapped. He was just wrapped in a. Damn. Dang, I think it broke the. Oh, oh no, it just popped you. off. How big was that fish? Six. That was a big. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. <laughs> he, was, he was probably like two and a half. Oh, okay. I would have totally believed you if you said six. Dude, that strike was insane. He just crushed. All right, guys, so we're fishing little shiners here. I have a split shot on mine just to get it down a little bit deeper. Billy, is yours? Do you have a split shot on yours? Or are you just going free? No, free? No, no. Cool. Oh, I guess we're hitting them both ways. Let it fall on him. I just grab him. I got it! Nice. I know, dude. The drag they feel. You went hard. So cool looking. See it? Like going it past it, right? Let her up. Oh. Switch. Nice oh fish. My God, boys. Nice fish. fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These fish bite yeah, so freaking hard. That was such a cool eat. She's Don't not even close. I was gonna say she's not even close, is she? No. She's gonna take another dive. I can feel that it. Fish chase like ten feet to eat that. That's a big one. Dude, look how dark it is. Oh, That's so a pretty fish. And it came unpinned. Watch out. It just came out. Flip. Wow. Oh. God, these fish are so freaking ferocious. Look how pretty this thing is. So Scott was explaining to us that this is a male peacock because it has this hump. And what is this hump anyway? Is that it's fat? It's called a noctual. noctual? The actual word. And noctual, bas yeah. basically... If there's a hard ridge there, but when they spawn, that bump is going to come way up higher as he gets more and more ready to, to spawn. So cool. And it's all hormonal and temporary, and it'll drop back down. It's wild. These fish strike so ridiculously hard. When it's they want it, they, they really want it. So fun to watch. Awesome. All right, let's get a release on this boy. Oh, dude. Thanks, Scott. This is so cool. Billy was was uh, trying his best on this bait, but I decided to go in and whack him real quick while he was trying to reconfigure his game plan. I don't know how many I'm gonna whack today, but I made pretty quick work of this guy. You ready? Right behind him. Really? Boom! Yeah. We just were cruising down the bank and I was sitting in the front trying to get some underwater footage and spotted a pretty big peacock up here on a bed. So I'm going to try to get it. Should I hit it in that little divot? Like where they were? Okay. Or try to. Hold the right a bit. Oh. 
Oh, it's not far enough back. Email's on oh. it. Got it? No, don't want to read. Okay. Oh, got him. Oh. Got him. That was so sick. It this... came off and destroyed it. Oh my god, dude. Wow. This is big. Oh my god, that's a big fish. He's really big. He came in out of nowhere and destroyed it. <laughs> Oh, wow, oh that God. is a big fish. Big one, dude. Yes. Not done yet. No, I figured I was just gonna run at the boat, or he's gonna run at the boat. There's another one right there. Do you see that? Don't worry about dude, that. look at the freaking head. Don't worry. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. He like doesn't even know he's freaking hooked. I right know, that's how we want to keep it. Come on, bud. Yeah, boy! Giant. Giant. Ah, that's such a good fish. Hell yeah. That thing is Holy mother of God. He's way big. Oh, wow. Open up this compartment and look for the bogus right. Dude. All right, moment of truth. Here we go. Oh, man. What do you think? Big yeah, he, he's like six, probably. Oh, my. He's huge body. He's not super heavy, though. Yeah. What is it? Five and a half? No, Not five and a half. Seven? On the dot. Wow. Come take a look. Wow, dude. Hell Boga yeah. Boga grip certified. Hell yeah. Seven pounder. Seven freaking pounder, bro. Thank you. Hell yeah. First seven um, of the year, dude. First seven of the year? Yep. Dude. Dog. Awesome. Here we go, I spotted this fish when we were rolling down the bank looking for fish on beds and I thought I saw a big peacock and it was a big peacock. Seven pounds, I'm just absolutely blown away. This fish fought so hard, it has so much power and it's just gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. Oh my God. It's as big as they get here pretty much. That's insane. I you came get, to Florida. You get a couple bigger but not a lot. I came to Florida for a 10 pound largemouth but Honestly, if I don't catch it, I don't even care. This made my trip 100% right there. Such a special fish in such a unique place. Fish of a lifetime. Billy, it's your turkey. Dude, you spotted that fish too. We were about to cruise right past it. That was so wow. epic. Oh, I'm stoked. Very, yeah. how good? Very, that was too cool. Keep it right there. Smoked it. Got it. Find him. Hit it. Boom. Yes. He wouldn't eat the jerk bait, so we gave him the uh, the drugs. A little live golden shiner, and he wanted that. Beauty. Smoked it. Threw up a little live shiner. A little pop pop. Grabbed it. Choked it. How many fish is that now? Six? More. Seven? Seven or eight. I think it's seven or eight fish. And I'm trying to challenge myself big time. Scott has said that he's going to show me how to roll cast the fly rod, and I'm going to try to catch one of these peacock on this. I think it's a five weight fly rod. Should be fun. I'm really excited. Look at him, dude. You're gonna get him. Pick it up again. In the head. Yes. Strip. Yes. yes. Hit it. Yes. Oh! He had it, dude. That Pick was so up. cool. Hang on, hang on. Did I record? Oh, so crap. as you see him doing that, boom. Quick reminders. All right, all right. I got the jitters. I'm, I'm feeling real nervous now. And I can do it. One more. Strip, hit it. Oh good, my god. Good, good. Was that too slow? No. Strip. That fish is fired up, dude. Hit it right, hit it again. I'm trying to race this boat that's on its way here. We want to race her, let him go. What's that? Get ready. Oh, oh he, missed, he, he, he missed it, he missed it. I'm shaking. This, this is like very, very let, exciting. Let the, all the, the wake settle down here. Okay. I'm ready. I am ready. Dude, the eat is so sick on the fly. And, it's and awesome. It's like starting in the clean water. Mess, the spring, I do all day trips just throwing flies. 
That's amazing. Like guys that'll put full days just doing that. All right. Ready? Where are you, buddy? Get that line out of the water. Just kind of lift slow behind you. And okay, you're tucking your arm down. Which way? You're going like 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 mm -hmm. that. Just come straight over your head the whole time. Okay. Ease your cast. See? Yeah. Do that again. Let it rip and you're in business. You ready? Now. Oh my god, he had it. One more, again. one more. You ready? Now. Oh god, oh god, oh god. It. Clear it. Yeah, <laughs> boy! <laughs> Big fish. Dude, on the freaking fly! Matt didn't think it would happen. I told him it would. I was definitely skeptical. On the fly, dude, that is so sick. That's a good fish. Wow. What size rod is that? Five weight? Four weight? I don't know. Perfect dude, this bad. fish is rolling right now. Oh my god. Get a little heat on him. A little more. Good. Turn your head. Oh, oh. Still got a little fight left in him. Yes, he does. Oh my god, he like totally just woke up again. He's close. Feels like he's weakening up a little yeah. bit. What a freaking fight. Come on, buddy. Strong as hell. Dude, so he keeps stripping out as much line he's done. every time. He's done, is that man. it? Was that the yeah. last run? That was it. Oh. Oh, I don't want to put too much pressure on him, but he is, he's definitely floundering out a little bit. He's done. Alright, come on. This is wearing my arm out. <laughs> my man. Hell yeah. <laughs> that is definitely the biggest fish I've ever caught on the fly. Wow. We're going again. <sighs> the first peacock on the fly right there. Just such a freaking beautiful fish. The blues, reds, oranges greens i mean it's stunning truly it's amazing fish so freaking cool so basically the time of year right now in the late winter these fish are going to be pushing up to spawn with the warming trends that we've been having a lot of these fish that we're catching today aren't even on beds yet today but they're starting to kind of pick out a spot and lock onto it and when they do that, you just pitch into that area that they're nearby and try and trigger a strike. Some of them are eating it, some are just reaction striking, but if the guys are quick on the, on the hook set, it doesn't matter, you get them anyway. So, we got a good one here. Billy's gonna try and get him. Looks to be at least four, maybe a little bit more. Let's see if he can do it. We've been switching off all day, just trolling down the canals, looking for fish on beds, and then Billy's up, I'm up, Billy's up, I'm up, Scott will take a shot at one. Um, I'm switching basically between the fly rod and the and live shiner. It's so fun. It's like the most amazing fishing that I've ever done. It's unreal. Yes. Oh, nice. Leave it there. Smoke. Oh my god. Nice. Bam. Keep that rod down a little bit. That was awesome. How cool was that? That was pretty cool, man. Live baited. Oh yeah. Beaut. That was awesome. Feels good, right? When you nail that cast, it's like a golf swing. Where you just like, yeah. oh, that's it. That's the one. That's how I describe it too. Beauty. Awesome. So we're just trolling our way down the canals looking for beds on these pretty sheer drops actually. And Scott just spotted a big one and we're gonna get Billy on it. I'm gonna add some fish to this click real quick. I've caught three since the first one. We got 56 fish. One of those is a seven pound peacock. Yeah. Flip it. Yeah. You ready? Hit it. Flip. Perfect. Bam. Don't let him get in that rock. Okay, slow. He's in the mud. Yes. <laughs> wow, hectic. Love it. Well, there's the one you're looking for. Yeah, that's a good one. How's your heart pounding? Pretty hard. <laughs> it grew on me. I didn't realize it was that big. I didn't so it either. started running. He didn't running. look that big. I thought he was high three, but yeah, I didn't think he's, he was that big. Think he's four? Yeah, four he's and a half? A little over four. Hell yeah. Four and a quarter maybe? Yeah. Like four and a quarter, four and a half. Yep. Yep. Four and a half. I only got one with a big old knob on his head. 
Oh, pretty yeah. fish, dude. Yeah. I think it's beautiful. Dude, but by the time I caught up to it, it was on the other side of the, uh, of the canal. Like, it darted <laughs> to the other side into the rocks. That fish did just about everything to beat you, but, yeah. but you got him. Then he came back, ran under the boat, almost around the trolling motor. It did go around the trolling motor. It did? Motor. Yeah, he was just gassed by that point. Dude, yeah, it could have been bad, but we got him. It's the one I've been trying to get. I've been scaring him all day. That's the biggest <laughs> one you've had. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Dude, yeah. crushed it. I'm gonna fly it up. I'm a big fan of this fly. One more. Stretch. Pause. Stretch. Oh, he's. Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> this fish got my number. Not as nice as that That's last long. one. Oh, I got here it comes. Am I not? Am I not going fast enough? No, he's just not always eating. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna introduce a new a new thing to you now. Okay. A lot of times the fish will make a push on, on it with the fly the first time, yeah. and they won't eat. But if you give it a little light strip after, the second one's the one you want. Okay, so, so let, the first don't even, let them, don't, don't even do anything, Okay. and then give it the little strip, and the second one, get ready to finish All it. All right. Dude, this one, this makes me shake. This gets me excited. Okay, let him move on it. Okay. Now strip. Oh, he snagged. Oh, that was so sick, dude. What the hell? You literally called that. Dude, that is awesome. Oh, beautiful job. That was so freaking cool, dude. You got that dialed. You're like, okay, let him hit the, let him go. Okay, now. And he totally did it. Nice bag. Another small one on the fly, third fish on the uh, fly rod. Freaking amazing. Wow. Yes! Oh, that was awesome. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Oh my god! Oh, dude, what? Big fish. <laughs> no! Oh! <laughs> it might have bent all your troubles. It might have, dude. That that run was insane. Damn. Dude. That was the only big loss of the day. I'm sorry. That was sick. Damn, that was a big fish. Dude, was that, how big was that? Five to six. Yeah, because it, when it came up and we saw it dart off, it looked... I'd say like five and a half. The length was huge. He's big. I don't think it wasn't like a seven or anything like that. But I he thought he was, was an eight. He was big. It was weird because it was. I mean, it was All right, so I forgot to film an outro for this one because as soon as we got off the water with Scott, Billy and I got back in the van and made another four and a half hour drive back up to Orlando because he had to leave two days later and I figured it would be best if we got up there and fished some of the lakes that we'd been fishing. And you guys will see that in tomorrow's video, but so much fun. Honestly, one of my favorite pieces of the entire Florida trip was fishing for peacock bass. Huge thanks to Scott for taking us out. If you guys wanna go experience peacock fishing and go down to Miami and catch some giant peacocks, make sure you hit him up. I'm gonna leave him linked down in the description below. He's an awesome guide, put us on some big fish. It was such a very fun time. I mean, fishing in those canals, crystal clear water, big fish everywhere. It's just something, I don't know, it's so different from home, so different than what I'm used to. Catching fish on the fly, catching fish on live shiners. And we got a little jerk bait action going too, but it was awesome. I know Billy had a really good time as well. And it was, again, like the highlight of my trip so far. But still got six or seven videos coming your guys' way from Florida. I'm also going to put a playlist together, which you can check out down in the description below if you've missed anything from the past. And I'll keep updating that with every video that I post from here on out. So click that. Watch the series. It's been a lot of fun for me. It's been a lot of fun going back and editing it. And I can't wait to get the rest of them up so we can catch back up here at home and start hammering away at some of these pre-spawn fish. But... 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for me, and I'll catch you tomorrow.